Demarcus Bowman is going to be a player to watch going into the 2021 football season and beyond. The Lakeland, Florida prospect recently transferred from Clemson to Florida this past fall and could be fun to watch in the backfield with Emory Jones. But who is Demarcus Bowman? In the Who Is series, we go through the backstories of up and coming collegiate and pro athletes. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel and let me know who you want to see in future episodes. Demarcus Bowman was born on April 27, 2001 and grew up in Lakeland, Florida. Bowman attended Lakeland High School where he would quickly make a name for himself. As a sophomore, Bowman rushed for 1,096 yards and 10 touchdowns on 113 carries, averaging 9.7 yards per carry. Bowman then exploded his junior season rushing for 2,422 yards and 36 touchdowns in 15 games. He would be named the 7A Player of the Year and First Team All-State. He was also first team Max Preps Junior All-American and finished as the runner-up for 2018 Florida Gatorade Mr. Football Award. Bowman averaged 11.8 yards per carry and 161.5 yards per game and helped lead his team to the state title and a 15-0 record. In the state title game against St. Thomas Aquinas, Bowman ran for 222 yards. In 2019, Bowman rushed for 1,570 yards and 24 touchdowns on 142 carries, averaging 11.1 yards per carry. He recorded 9 games with over 100 yards rushing and averaged 142.7 yards per game. Lakeland would finish with a 12-1 record and Bowman would be named Florida Mr. Football, edging out Henry Parrish Jr. in the narrowest of margins in the 28-year history of the award at the time. After Bowman won the award, Lakeland assistant coach Will Baylor said, it's funny, you could make a case that he was more deserving last year based on the numbers. But when you break it down, his yards per carry was just as high and he had 70 fewer carries. Throughout high school, Bowman evolved from a 165-pound speed back to a 190-pound running back who would run through you. In 35 games, Bowman rushed for 5,081 yards and 71 touchdowns, averaging 11.4 yards per carry. He averaged 145 rushing yards per game and recorded 26 games with over 100 yards. Bowman would finish his high school career playing in the Under Armour All-American game. On top of football, Demarcus Bowman also competed in track, finishing as the Class 4A state runner-up for the 100-meter dash as a junior, but was unable to compete his senior year due to COVID-19. According to 24-7 Sports Composite, Demarcus Bowman was a five-star recruit who was the third best running back, fourth best player in Florida, and 20th best player nationally in his class. He received over 17 different Division I offers from the likes of Alabama, Auburn, Clemson, Florida, Georgia, and Oregon. Bowman's decision came down to Clemson and Florida. Back in February of 2019, Bowman spoke on Clemson saying, they are definitely in my top six if I had one. It's just the school, the coaches, and the staff has all been together for eight years or more. They are not the type to offer just anyone. They like to know that you really want to come there before you come there. They don't have many transfers or decommits. They are legit. I really like Coach Elliott and Coach Sweeney. Bowman ultimately chose the Clemson Tigers over the Florida Gators in large part due to his maternal grandfather living in Atlanta and not having the opportunity to watch him play in high school. So, what made Bowman such a special talent coming out of high school? According to John Garcia Jr. of 24-7 Sports, Bowman is compact and has a muscular build with head-turning acceleration and top-end speed. Well-proportioned, true home run threat with no nonsense, vertical game. Runs with north-south and decisive style that can fit into spread or more conventional systems. Gets the top speed in a hurry to eliminate angles. Elite balance, effective jump cut. Can decelerate and reroute to counter over pursuit. Should see near immediate playing time at Blue Blood Program and serve as a potential three-and-done NFL draft candidate. His college comparison is former Arkansas running back Felix Jones and he is projected to be a future day two pick. Unlike most five-star recruits, Bowman would not enroll early at Clemson, but instead enroll over the summer. When he got to Clemson, he joined a running back room full of talent, including bell cow running back Travis Etienne, who returned for his senior season. Bowman entered the season towards the bottom of the depth chart. Against Wake Forest, Bowman recorded six carries for 22 yards in the 37-13 win. After the game, when Bowman returned to the locker room, he had a text that informed him his maternal grandfather had passed away. This crushed Bowman, who had chosen Clemson due to being closer to his grandfather. The following practices, Bowman did not have the usual motivation and drive, and just was out of sorts after Clemson beat Cynadel 49-0. Bowman told The Athletic, 
I had no emotion when I came out for the game. I just had no drive, no feeling to be there. I didn't feel it anymore. Bowman was feeling homesick and started talking to running back coach Tony Elliott and head coach Dabo Sweeney about possibly leaving. Sweeney and Elliott obviously did not want to lose their star player and heir apparent to Travis Etienne. Bowman told The Athletic, I was explaining to them I just don't feel comfortable anymore. I kept saying it over and over. They were making it seem like I was running from something, but I wasn't running from anybody. I just wanted to be closer to home. When it came to family, the opinion on what he should do, it was split. His father talked about him sticking it out at Clemson, while his mother thought he should come home if it was best for him. Bowman would reach out to some former teammates who would happen to be Florida Gators, and later that week, he entered the transfer portal. I want to get this point across. Bowman was not transferring due to playing time. He was transferring due to wanting to be closer to family. Bowman told TigerNet, The only reason I came to Clemson is so my mother's dad could watch me play. He stayed in Atlanta, but he passed away and that really hurt me. He was my closest family to me up there, and I just didn't feel comfortable anymore. I just wanted to go to school closer to home. A month after his maternal grandfather passed away, his paternal grandfather also passed. Bowman chose to transfer to the school he almost committed to out of high school, the Florida Gators, which is about two hours away from Lakeland. Bowman left high praises for Clemson, saying, Clemson is a very great program. They have very great coaches and academics, and it is literally the most perfect place. It was just not the fit for me, though. When DeMarcus Bowman decided to transfer, there was never really a question on where it might be. Florida was the true frontrunner. According to 24-7 Sports' new transfer ratings, Bowman was the number one running back transferring and held on to his five-star rating. So, what is Florida getting in DeMarcus Bowman now a year out of high school? Well, according to Sports Illustrated, Bowman's pro comparison is Ray Rice due to his build and speed. Bowman is a home run threat that has the ability to take it to the end zone on any play after making a tackler miss. Bowman has the ability to be a three down back in the SEC, could be the best running back to come through Gainesville in some time. He will be joining a loaded running back room with Damian Pierce, Malik Davis, Daquan Wright, and Lorenzo Lingard. Mullen plans to have the best player on the field this season, and if that means having multiple running backs on the field, he plans to do so. Florida also believes the running backs and Emory Jones will complement each other this year, especially in the read option. Demarcus Bowman is an extremely talented running back and a name you will hear over the next few years. Hopefully, he has found his home as a Florida Gator. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other videos in the Who Is series. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember to embrace the grind.